I'm in the sunshine, you're in the darkness. Hmm. Hello and welcome to Cozy Reading Afternoon. <laughs> We've been for a walk this morning, 10,000 yeah. steps we did. It was really nice, wasn't it? Lovely. A bit muddy. I wasn't dressed for the, the occasion, but yeah, it was fine. It. it was fine, I got away with it. Um, the light's very moody, but that's because the light in here We're is moody, moody people. We're not moody people. It's about 10 minutes before Cozy Reading Afternoon sit, sticks, sticks off, sets off. Kicks off. Oh, I'm feeling very, very like this. How yeah. are you feeling? I'm a bit tired. A bit tired. So, um, Cozy Reading Afternoon for us is going to work thusly. I'm going to go into the kitchen to start with and make the cream of fennel soup. We've got some delicious bread to have with that cream of fennel soup. David's going to force it down, but he's going to really enjoy it because it's going to take me a long time to make. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be lovely. It will be lovely. Um, what are you going to do? So I'm going to be listening to um, more of Hollow Pox, the third book in the Nevermore series, whilst that's going on. Then um, in between, I'm going to be reading a little bit of The Death of Mrs. Westaway, which I should have bought over, really, I and I will. So. Yes, in between sort of like simmer for 30 minutes type things. I'm going to be reading more of The Death of Mrs. Westway. Read a bit of this before I went to bed last night. 132 pages I got to. Well done me. Well done so by the end of today I've got to be on 260 something. No, 260 will do it. I'll be happy with 260. Hello Minnie, pretty girl. Um, and then what are you going to do while I'm cooking and eating? What, 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 how, how's your afternoon playing now? So I'm going to read a couple more questions. Yeah, what's the, the what next question? Book? Oh, the next one's about... Um, look who she is! And funny you should come over because it's about soulmates. Oh yeah, it's about soulmates. What if everyone actually only had one soulmate, a random person somewhere in the world? Mm. There we go. Yeah, so I'll read that for a little while. Then um, I'll do a bit of Dear Martin. Do you think you'll get onto a squiggly career today? Um, no, I don't think I'm going to do that today. So then I think once we've had lunch, because yeah. as you all know, David can't, can't eat. read well, what I can't have can't read and eat at the same time. And then I think I'll probably get into the bath. And then listen well, we to. Are bathing, are we? I would like to bath. We don't have to use a bath bomb if you don't want to. But I'm going to have a bath maybe for the last half hour. Well, and the thing is, to... is that I'd like to wash my hair, and I don't always have my best. I want a deep clean well, on it. Fine. I don't always don't, have my best hair washed in the bath. Get in the bath. I'll just have a bath. I mean, you won't be able to resist because <laughs> you love a bath. <laughs> that might be true. That yeah. might be but true. then I'll have a bath and carry on listening. And then it's strictly to... tonight. Da, 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 da. But I've also got a bit of a side mission where I'm trying to order. Oh, we're having a delicious takeaway take tonight. Oh, look, and Graham and Essie, there are your stickers. There's the stickers. That you the sent me on my... stickers from yeah. yesterday. Um, yeah, we're having a takeaway tonight. We never, ever, well, we don't hardly ever have takeaway ever. A takeaway just us two. I don't think we've two. never had takeaway just us two. A yeah, I'd say for probably a good couple of years. Definitely not in this flat. No. No. So we're having a Not Greek takeaway, us. gyros. Mm. Um, I'm having a vegetable. And all, it, all it's taken, guys, is for uh, me to have soup for lunch. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> my, my reward is reward. takeaway. <laughs> a rewarding with food. <laughs> that tells you, because this might be the first time in this flat that we've just had soup, the two of us. Yeah, true. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and crack on with the, uh, with the, the, the cooking the side making. of things. What are you going to do while that's Well, happening? I need something to eat now because it's going to take over an hour. something to eat. And all I've had. Oh, uh, I eat oranges now as well. Oh yeah, David's found out today that he actually does like oranges. No, no. David, when Dave and I got together, I got told I don't eat any fruit. I don't like Except any apples. fruit. It was Except only apples, apples I ate. But now, you're slowly getting there. Oh God, I love, I mean. And I had an orange on our walk today and gave him a little segment and he was like, oh, that is delicious. It's sour though. But he liked it. They're not but always that nice, sour. No. It was nice. But yeah. Anyway, I better go and crack on. Must crack on. Better, better must be getting on, bye. So here we are, all ready to go. Cream of fennel soup. I've got my fennels. I've got my orange zest that's going in it. I've got my onion base. I've got my cream. I've got some stock. There's some butter in there. I've got my hollow pox. I've got this. I've got this delicious looking rye sourdough bloomer, which we're going to eat with it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start listening and start chopping. Also help good. them avoid some lamb oh, no. Marty Ra of the Royal House of Ra. Bad onion. Oh, it's not too nice one. Far East Sang. Oh, She's sure been smuggled into the free state illegally from the Winter Sea Republic. Elder Quinn's voice echoed around them. The wondrous society has had one mission. One unified secret per look. Elder Quinn spoke while the My fennel's cooking away in there. I've got about an hour. So oh it's getting streamy. Um, so I'm now going to go and read a bit of The Death of Mrs. Westaway. Should we go and see if David's actually doing any reading? He is reading! He looks so cosy. What happens if everybody meets their soulmate? 
Oh, I'm past that. Oh. Oh, there's a very slim chance. Lucky for us then, yeah. isn't it? You didn't sound very convincing then. <laughs> Say it again. Lucky for us. Lucky for us. <laughs> so yeah, bit of death of Mrs. West away. 26 minutes left on the timer. I'll eat some of this, why not? No. Oh, half an hour until soup's done. You can have a bit of bread. Look, I even gave you the one that didn't have a hole in it. Thank you. Well, where's the um? Where's the end of it? Where's the end of the bread? I had it. God, nothing gets past him, does it, guys? No. So maybe that makes up for that hole then. Mm. We're almost an hour in. I've listened to quite a bit of Hollow Pox. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. You've read. You're done with what if now? Mm -hmm. You're on to dear I'm Martin. Going to on to dear Martin. Lovely stuff. I'm going to read a bit more because we've got 30 minutes till the soup's done. And at this rate, we're going to have eaten the bread by the time the soup gets here. But it's nice bread though, isn't it? It's lovely. Let's read. Oh. It doesn't look like much, but I think you're going to find it really delicious. Let's have a look. Ah, that looks very cute. I made it cute for you. It's lovely. Get me a bowl now. Nice. We've got all this delicious bread, which we've already had half a loaf of. Is that all the bread? Yeah. Do you like a little hedgehog guy? Look at him. He's cute, isn't he? I think it's very cute. It's lovely. Thank you, Bub Bub. You're welcome. David claims to hate soup. I'm trying to get his reaction to this cream of fennel soup that I've just made him. Yes, yeah, thanks. Really nice? Really nice. Good. I'm very pleased with it. How was the soup? Marks out of ten. Seven. Mm, okay. But was it almost a six? Yeah. I thought it was really nice soup. I really I, enjoyed it. I, as I said, I liked it. Look, I liked it. But I just don't like soup. Okay. Well, Because my problem is, is the fact that the whole way through the soup, every mouthful is exactly the same, and it's sloppy. Uh, <laughs> okay, I respect that, because that's the reason I don't like risotto, because oh, every God, mouthful is exactly risotto. the same. Risotto makes but I, I do sick. like soup, but yeah, risotto, I understand you not liking it, but that risotto is the worst. <laughs> well, yeah, soup Charlotte made risotto. you a risotto before and you liked it. Right. What about soup otto? What about soup otto? Oh God. <laughs> anyway, we are now, what time through? We're over half, we've only got an hour and 10 minutes left. Oh, God. Um, so we're gonna go and I said I didn't want a bath, guess what, I do. And an afternoon bath is a lovely right. treat, isn't it? Yeah, you were right. Yeah, um, so I'm gonna go and do that now. I think I'm gonna use the winter garden bath bomb because it's not very subtle. And I'm gonna put cosmetic warrior on my face because look, I need a warrior on this face. My skin is so bad at the moment. But you never have bad. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, and I'm going to continue reading Death of Mrs. No, Westaway the whole skin. way. Don't, don't, don't. No, you don't have bad skin. Yeah. Because he watches that. it with shower gel. Shower gel. Shower gel. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm supposed to be reading, uh, um, well, I said I would, supposed to. I'm, I said I would read um, a short story from uh, Loving Colour. However, like, I've got to have this done by tomorrow. I don't think it's going to take me, like, I'm really enjoying it and I'm sort of flying through it. Um, but I'm going to I'm gonna crack on with this because uh, I need to be on 260 pages by the end of today and I'm on 162, so I've got 100 pages to read. So yeah, I'm going to go and do that, have a bath. Yeah? Yeah. I'm out the bath. Oh, that's my feet moving this around. <coughs> um, had a lovely time. Put my face mask on. Just put my hy hyaluronic acid and um, Celestial, I think, is the uh, the, the uh, moisturiser I've got on. And yeah, having a lovely time. Now I'm about to do the biggest cop out. I've been doing something called Outfits October on my channel, on my Instagram channel, whereby um, I've got a jar full of 31 different outfit prompts. And throughout the month, I've been picking one of those out and then dressing according to that prompt. I've been having a lovely time. Today, though, the prompt is midnight. Now, I did have plans to wear a um, uh, like a shirt that had stars and moons on it, but I didn't end up wearing that today because the black jeans I had have faded. They used to be really, really nice and dark black, and it just looked awful with this black blouse with stars and moons on. So I decided against that. And we went for a walk, so I didn't want to wear like one of my nicer options of my uh, one of my dresses, which were the other options. Um, 
and I thought, oh, what I'll do when I get home, I'll get changed and then I'll get nice and dressed up for Strictly and that'll be lovely. But I've just put this dressing gown on, which David's mum got me for uh, Christmas from Next about, how long have I had this? A long time, haven't I? David cannot stop reading his book. I'm so pleased with him. How long ago did your mum get me this? I've oh, had it a long time, you, like five yeah. years ago, maybe. Really, blimey. That long ago. It's from Next. It's still a good though, isn't it? Yeah, it's really lovely. Um, and it's got all these like constellations on. <laughs> so I think... I'm in today's midnight outfit. I might get David to take a photo of me in a minute. I think out, um, out of like, was it 31 you have to do? 31? Yeah, there's, there's gonna, gonna be, one, there's, there's gonna, gonna be, yeah, there's gonna be. It's fully be. justified. And also, it's not a cop out because this is midnight no. print, so. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm gonna do that in a minute, but we've got half hour left. That bath was lovely. That bath bomb I had was called Winter's Garden, um, and it was so subtle and nice and smells really pretty and i had the window open in the bath while i was in there which was really nice because it was like really hot in the bath but like cold outside oh it just felt like i was like in the outdoor swimming pool at, at center parks mm. nothing you read bubba you read um but yeah cracking on with death of mrs westaway for the last half hour and then i better edit yesterday's vlog because i haven't finished doing that yet and i want to get that up bye that's the end of Cozy Reading Afternoon. It's very, I mean, I've done these Cozy Reading Afternoons before, but it does feel weird when like you're finishing, look, you're used to finishing Cozy Reading times when it's really dark outside and then you're finishing, it's still light outside. David's still in the bath, we've had a lovely time. Um, I'm just gonna finish off editing yesterday's Cozy Reading Night because I still haven't done that yet. Um, and yeah, Cozy Reading Morning, see you then.